What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sketch Day Live. It is Friday. What is it? February 12th. Time is flying. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. <clears throat> Having a good time. Let me just make sure. Okay, we're good. We are good to go. Today is your day. So I'm just going to be taking requests. I have no idea what I'm going to be drawing. I'm going to be working digitally, so you let me know. Um, I'm only taking requests on YouTube, so if you want to make a request, head over to youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. Join the chat, join the show, say what's up, high five, hello, all that good stuff. Welcome and thank you to our Patreons. If you want to subscribe and help out, that's patreon.com slash sketchaday. That's where I'm at. Patreon is a way for you to support your creators and help out. What does that mean? It's just, it's a monthly commitment. It's a month monthly monthly uh, high five. Um, I did want to give a shout out to one of our new Patreons. Give me just a sec here. Just had a new Patreon, so we had Don. Just join. Welcome, welcome. And we had another. Oh, shoot, it's not showing me. And I want to give the shout out to the right name. Oh, <laughs> I think it's Pavel, but just goes by P. So I won't completely out you and dox you, but thank you so much for becoming a mega fan along with Don this month. Much appreciated. Much love to you and high five. So yesterday we did uh, food related things. Also this forklift sketch. But again, today is about you guys. All right. So head on over to the YouTube chat. Say what's up. And I'd be happy to. What is this? Ooh, I don't know. Oh, okay. This is interesting. This is interesting. All right. Um, while we wait and we'll get started here, um, I'm going to pull up the Discord. Give me just a sec. Where are you, Discord? All right. So the other reason you want to jump over to... Uh, the YouTube, I've got this little dongle here, so it'll actually pump out the pump out some high quality video for you from my iPad. So if this looks weird and you're like, what the heck is he doing? Jump on over to YouTube and that's where I've got this all hooked up. All right. Um, unfortunately, Instagram doesn't let you use like software to present stuff. OK, so in the discord, we have a weekly sketch challenge channel. It's an opportunity for you to submit your work and get feedback. There's the URL, by the way, right here. I'm a little too zoomed in. Boom, right there. So, you know, um, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, Discord. So we have a weekly sketch challenge and that's an opportunity. I, I created it so that along with Jordan Armad on the Discord so that you know, we could have prompts to do something different. I always get asked the question, how do you decide what to draw? Oh man, this tea is intense this morning. Um, what do you draw? How do you think of topics? That kind of thing. Well, if you're like me and sometimes you need some inspiration, you can check out the weekly sketch challenge channel and that's an opportunity for you to get some ideas. So this week we did food and beverage and or food and drink. I kicked things off with the sketch, posted it to the Instagram and whatnot. The screen is black. That's weird. Um, I don't know why, but hopefully you guys are seeing stuff. Anyhow, um, so an opportunity for you to submit your work and see, get feedback, that kind of thing. I don't know if I'm going to do feedback so much today as just keep on the praise, high fives for you. But if you have specific questions, we also have a channel called Get Help. I'll show you a little bit of the server in just a sec. All right, so this is a painting I did in Adobe Fresco a while back, actually. I think this was 2018, I believe, something like that. Anyhow, kick things off with that watercolor painting. We have H. Pie Hendrick with a lemon, lemon painting, very lovely. Nice loose feel to it. I think uh, nice job on the loose feel here. So yeah, if you're having problems with the stream, just try refreshing. Um, everyone else, it's working for everyone else. So, um, but nice job. You got nine lemons, three thumbs up, and a love face emoji <laughs> reaction. So nice work. We have Lori, our resident fashion expert with 
a lovely, very vibrant moving sketch here of a, I think a tilted glass. I really, I really love the movement. It's uh, really cool. So thanks for uh, putting this together. Very expressive. I just love it. You do, you do a really good job, Lori, with, with your marker work. Um, and it's always inspiring to see, um, see what you do. All right. We got Sam here. looks like a pastel drawing. I'm not sure what it is, though, I will say. I'm not sure what it is, but I do appreciate the vibrant colors in your sketch. I would suggest increasing the fidelity of what you're doing um, or explaining a bit more of what it is. Barb submitted. I'm assuming this is some sort of... I don't know if it's pancakes because the garnish seems seems a bit more more suited for something savory. Why don't I draw illustrations? I do all the time. Um, interesting comment, though. So I'm not sure what this is, but maybe it's pancakes. In any case, I appreciate the gesture. It's very clean. You know, clean line work is something I still struggle with. So um, I think nice effort. Lori with part two of her spilled drink here. Very cool. like the movement. I could always improve the movement in my sketches, I think. Hey, Arnev, what's up? I think we just showed yours, I think. I think we did. No, did we? Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm imagining things. All right, Zephyr, Zephyr, with an illustration of some food items here. Very cool. Thank you for the painting. And lines or <laughs> mod. The only I like the caption here. The only food or drink that matters. You know, I used to be, I used to be drinking coffee. Um, a ton and I decided to kind of back off a little bit so now I do tea um, which has been good you know tea no sugar no nothing nothing in there so all right well thank you guys for submitting let's see do we have any other submissions here all right that's it for today um, but just a little tour here of the discord server um, we have general chat, things like off topic. So if it's not sketch related, you can post there. Introductions, say hi, say what's up, say hello if you join the server. Um, gear and materials. So if you have questions about materials that other people are using or um, best equipment, things like that, you can always post those questions in that channel. And there's tons of people who are way knowledgeable that can answer your questions too. There's extra visuals, so if, if you're not necessarily like, you know, a sketch monster, you appreciate sketching, but maybe you do some CAD and 3D, you can post your stuff in here, photography, things like that. We have Net Hunter messing around in Keyshot, Mystery with some Rhino renderings, for example. So little little group there you can participate in. There's also just a general show your work channel. So if you don't want to do the weekly sketch challenge, but you want to show off your sketches, you're welcome to post them there. Lots of interesting submissions um, that kind of run the gamut. So you can uh, you can submit there. Really fantastic work. So I just personally love drawing of all kinds and all types. Um, for me, it's been a journey of learning and experience. So I wouldn't be where I am today without the help of other people. So that's why um, I believe in, in this community. You can also make video requests. Yesterday, I caught this request for... The forklift and that's why i did that one um, and like i said there's a get help channel so if you're looking for specific feedback or you have some tough questions um here's a or resident an official resident car designer Danny Danny chang i think i'm not sure what the c stands for i think it's chang um apologies if i got that wrong but he's he's like a master of light and reflections and he can help you um, nail your car sketches and he's also offered to give feedback on car sketches specifically so if you need the help join the discord it's a great place to be i like it um even if i'm not always there all right so like i said i'm going to be working digitally today and let's start in procreate i have no idea what i'm going to draw today so i'm kind of relying on you guys to give me ideas and suggestions on what you would like to see. And I'm just gonna roll with that. Maïs says, I'm just starting my drawing journey. 
great to be or trying to learn all you can here hey you're you're taking the most important step which is doing something and like i said it's it's a lot harder to do the whole drawing thing if you don't have people to support you so glad you could join it this is the let's see this is in my mega pack of brushes the rough stencil do some circles lines ellipses why don't i use tools or the quick line you know in, in procreate you can draw and then hold and then you'll get a shape and i can say i was actually trying to draw a circle and then change it to an ellipse if i want to it's handy um but i think it's important to work on on those fundamental skills so that's that's my personal hill i'm willing to die on i guess you could say i'd rather have an imperfect sketch than one without life or soul i guess that maybe that maybe that sounds a bit antagonistic but i should draw an ipod i ipod pro max i'm not sure what that is What's an iPod Pro Max? I don't really like drawing existing products, personally, um, just because, I don't know. I have a friend who's who's of a similar mindset, Michael DiTullo. Um, you know, there's, there's this trend or thing where people draw existing stuff all the time. It's kind of weird. But if you're like, draw some headphones that are inspired by, I'd be, I'd be down. I'll be down for that. All right, so just drawing a series of ellipses here. I guess we could warm up with a car. I don't think I did an actual car this week, did I? Car, shoe, something like that. I know I said I would go two hours today, but then I got this email before the show, so I have to work on... Um, playing a private jet. I could do a private jet. Got a request for a mermaid. Oh, goodness. All right. So we a chicken in a biscuit box for fan Friday. <laughs> like fried chicken. Lillian, is that the, the ask? I could do fried chicken in a box. All right. So let me write these down so I don't forget. I need a better system. Like maybe there's a, a website. Reminder, I'm only taking requests on YouTube. Um, okay, so we have chicken, plain, uh, breakfast maker robot. That sounds interesting. I may have to save that one for Sci-Fi Sunday since it's a robot, but I like the idea. Chairs. And we had mermaid. Wow, lots of suggestions here. So we'll see what I can get to. What I can get to today. All right, let's start with our fried chicken in a box. At least I think I think that was that was the intent, right? Some sort of box of, of fried chicken. So I'm gonna start with with the box. Actually, let's see. Let me think about this. Yeah, I'll go this way. Fried chicken. Apologies to the vegans watching the show as you watch me draw meaty, meaty carcasses, meaty appendages cooked to perfection. Meaty appendages is the name of my, my hip hop classic music crossover act. Meaty appendage. Just check it out. All right, just clean up a little bit here. I do wish the Apple Pencil, when you, so like with a with a Wacom stylus, I'll switch for, for you guys. <clears throat> but I wish that as you hovered, it would show you a preview. It doesn't do that. It's the Wacom, the Wacom tablets do that, but not the iPad, but 
you know, convenience, convenience comes at a cost, I guess. I'm sure they could do it though. I mean, it's, it's got a battery in it. Maybe they, maybe they, maybe there's IP they can't violate or something with regards to, to Wacom. Let's just make a fictional, fictional brand symbol here. For a box. All right, so got biscuits in this box. Maybe it's slight angles. This is a giant box of chicken. And then maybe, how do you guys feel about fried chicken, by the way? Is that like a thing wherever you, you live? I guess if there were fries, this will be the second sketch of fries I do this uh, this week on the channel. This will be the second, second sketch of fries. Just adding a little texture here on our biscuit. Cinnabons, vintage radio. Do I know Kesh? I don't know Kesh, but I'll have to look up Kesh at some point. There are many great artists out there for sure. There's like so much talent in the world. It's, it's, it's really inspiring. There's so much talent out there. So the theme this week was food and drink. If you're wondering, why is he sketching a box of chicken? And just got a request for um, a sketch of some chicken. So I'm gonna make this a whole whole meal, chicken meal. Someone called me a snack on the, the show yesterday. I have no idea who it was. So I suppose a self-portrait would count. You guys were working on on this yourselves. You might want to consider that, right? Maybe not. All right, I'm gonna shrink this just a little bit. You know. All right. Maybe just some potato potato wedges. Potato wedges in here. Mm. I mean, I do, I do, uh, I guess, yeah, I do, I do appreciate fried chicken. It's good. Personally. Probably shouldn't, but. For many reasons. Anyhow. All right, the box itself. I guess the box would have, would it have some sort of foldy lap here. It's been a minute since I've done packaging design, but I believe, yeah, something like this, where the side kind of folds in. So, yeah, so this flap goes in, and there'd be like an interior piece right there. All right, so now I got to do, now I got to do the chickeny bits. I'm going to do that on, on a new layer, and just, I'm going to do probably just some tender tender shapes tendies tendies were in the news i'm not sure if tendies are like actual tenders or if it just means like you know i live in a basement and my mom's gonna bring me some delicious chickeny things or snacky things i should say i guess a good question would be would be what is your favorite food or what are some of your guys' favorite foods. Foods and beverages, since this week's theme is food and beverage for the challenge. What is your favorite food or beverage? All right, let's create some texture here. And our chicken, chickens. So for this, I'm just using a random kind of line pattern here and you'll see how I use this to kind of bring these to life and make it feel a bit more like a crunchy crispy piece of chicken chickens if my friend Andrew is watching he will appreciate my sketch of chicken he's a fried chicken connoisseur fanatic 
Ramen. Ramen is pretty good. Ooh, bowl of ramen. It's really cold right now where I'm at. Bowl, bowl of ramen sounds amazing right now. Maybe not right now because it's only... What time is it? Is it really 941? That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Bowl of ramen sounds amazing. Red Bull, coffee, anything Italian, tendies or mini tenders. Maybe so. I've heard that it, it refers to different things, but anyhow. Um, Cinnabons are good. Fries, chocolate. Mm. Okay, so my favorite types of cuisine. Like if I were going out to eat, I would go to an authentic Indian restaurant. Or I would go to... I think a Japanese restaurant. Those are my, my two favorite. But if I knew I was going to die today, if I knew and I was going to have a last meal, it would most definitely be a burger. Like, just the best burger ever. And a beer. That would be... That would be my ask on my deathbed. Just give me a burger and a beer. Please. And that'd be good. While listening to Frank Ocean. <laughs> that would be it. All right, so I'm going to keep adding some texture. Food food is is tough because you know, it's not it's not like a regular product where you don't have textures or things like that. So I'm trying to use lines here to help me so that the color can go a little bit a little bit quicker. And while lines the mod is helpful, I mean lines on the screen here kind of help me out. Burger with Wagyu beef. Mmm. That sounds good. It sounds very delicious to the taste. My kids are funny though. One of them is like super adventurous eater. Like he'll eat anything I eat. Even if I was like, hey, try some octopus. He'd be like, cool. My other child is very careful, cautious, um, refuses to try anything new. I'm just like, dude. So his diet uh, consists of basically tortillas, cereal, um, Tortillas, cereal, and cheese, and, <laughs> and fruit for fiber. I insist on some fiber. He'll eat, he'll eat uh, broccoli and peas too, but it's just it's just funny. Kids are funny. Yeah, I think I, I think I have to figure out a better way to do requests. Like maybe it's at intervals, or um, I could have a friend build like a a voting system of some sort, or I could do it in a Discord. I'll think about it though. It's got to be a better, more interesting way. What is this? Oh, Fan Friday reminder. Um, did I order some cupcakes? Nope, <laughs> I did not. Ooh. Lines, I think, just added to the Discord, so let's check in here. Mo Army with some cupcakes. Nice. Late submission to Fan Friday. Thank you. Appreciate the follow through. You did mention that you'd be doing some cupcakes. Now I and now I wanna like eat something sweet. Ah, dang it. Chicken and biscuit is kind of crackers oh chicken and biscuit oh now i see chicken in a biscuit box okay my bad my bad well 
We have chicken and biscuits. How about that? I totally messed up. I've heard of chicken and a biscuit, but it didn't like register in my head. I didn't think of it that way. So my apologies. What tea do I drink? I'm having some masala chai with turmeric and ginger. So it's spicy. That's how I'm starting my day off. And then I'll probably have some green tea to uh, kick things off a little bit later. Set it off. Just to re-energize myself. Later. Hey, Don. What's up? We're doing food and drink. I misinterpreted uh, Lillian's request and ended up doing... This needs to be more orange. Ended up doing uh, fried chicken <laughs> instead of chicken and a biscuit so my apologies Lillian is that the color of fried chicken I feel like it needs to be a bit more yellow less red more yellow all right I can work with it all right so what I'd mentioned before in doing these textures you'll kind of see what I do here so I will use I'm using this real marker brush that I've created and I'll use it to kind of shade in some of these areas here. And this brush builds on itself. So I can apply once, two times, three times, and get like different tones all within the same area. So pretty useful, just as a general brush. Use this one on Sunday as well to do that robot worked on that robot bug illustration since apparently I don't do illustrations <laughs> just referring to a comment I got earlier anyhow all right so let's just shade this in everything's gonna be brown in this box Ew. not brown but you know orangish just real quick here keep it fast Fast and furious. Keep it crispy. Crispy and delicious. So yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get to everything today, but wow, you guys really came through with the suggestions today. So I'll do what I can to uh, do what I can to get those in. As I was explaining earlier, I got an email um, from a client, so I've got to got to hustle and deliver some stuff, some real work. So I'm gonna be doing that a little bit later. All right, and let's get our biscuits, which again are gonna be very brownish. I'll do this below the chicken layer, though. Can't believe I just said chicken layer. Um, <laughs> So a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little too red there. So let's go back to the yellows. This is Procreate. I am using Procreate on an iPad. I'm using my own custom brushes that I made for product design sketching. So that's what I'm using right now. Let's use a little bit more white. Up here. Keep them looking fresh. So fresh and so clean, clean. Yeah, for some reason, Facebook is like, I got this warning saying I don't produce original content. I'm like, what the? Facebook's weird. Facebook, Instagram are weird. I, I liken, so I, I did a research session. I hope I can say this. I did a research session with a certain company yesterday that wanted my feedback and uh <laughs> the analogy i gave 
it's that Instagram is Instagram's a lot like you're having a party and instead of people coming to the party and participating it's like everyone's just peeking over the fence a little bit but they don't really want to come in even though they're invited in they don't want to come in you know it's kind of like that and they were like ooh interesting analogy <laughs> It was, uh, it was fun. Maybe I'll get myself in trouble. I really do think they do speech analysis, though. And that probably feeds into something. The world is a wild, wild place, my friends. When it comes to technology and what's possible right now. Wild, wild place. All right, let's use some gray now. Mmm, delicious fried chicken. Yeah, there are a couple ways to get the brushes. One is um, become a patron, and after two months, I hook you up with a set of your choosing or if you want them right away just head over to sketchaday.com and they're available there appreciate the support i made them because i made them actually so i made the first set when procreate first came out because uh I just I wanted I wanted it to feel natural and be able to draw the way I want to draw. So that's why I created them. And then a few years later, as Procreate got better and you know, started creating more tools, I was like, let's release another set. So there are two sets. There's the Mega Pack, which has about 30 or so brushes. I think that's the best deal. And then there's the original OG set that you can use. All right, so just using a paint and erase method here, we'll clean up. And then, oops, that was my eraser brush. Just clean up there. What am I going to name my fast food chain? I don't know. What should I name it? Cthulhu's. <laughs> if you guys don't get the reference there, we did uh, last week we did characters and I created this Cthulhu character. We also did some cyberpunk type stuff as well. Anyhow, Cthulhu happened to be a disgruntled or disenchanted, I should say, office worker. So maybe he left his job and decided to start a fast food joint. It's totally possible. I have thought about making a set of three brushes too. Um, it's something I've been thinking about. Just, just some like basic extra extras. I'll probably send it out to um, people who've bought before, and then you know, eventually, if you just want to pick up some brushes, I don't know. Just thinking out loud. No promises. All right, let's finish up our drinky drink here.
And yeah, I think that's good enough. Just soften up our little contact shadow reflection business here and do a little erase. Oh, same layer. Oh well. I'll just paint over. I didn't realize it was the same layer. All right, so there's my my fried chicken meal <laughs> that I've, I came up with. I apparently misinterpreted the the request. The request was for a chicken in a biscuit in a box. Have I had experience with Samsung tablets? I have not. Hold on just a sec here. Boom. That's better. Um, I have not because... I'm all in on the Apple ecosystem, so I haven't really played around with Android tablets, but I have heard from people who do like them. So if, if that's your thing, I'd say go for it. I'd say just go for it and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Yeah, I have no idea what this brand is called, but... Um, okay, so I did chicken. How about we do chicken? I can do a mermaid. And then the breakfast maker robot I'll save for Sunday. And then we'll do a private jet was the other request. Arkham fried cephalopod. <laughs> yeah, who knows if that's chicken? It could be, it could be a cephalopod. You know, it could very well be. So these sketches I'll upload to the uh, Google Drive that's accessible by patrons and YouTube channel members as well. Don, if you haven't gotten that, it should be in the Patreon channel on the Discord. The super secret Patreon channel should have the link there. I think it's in the channel description. Um, so if you wanna try that out, get all the sketches. All right, mermaid, let's do, I guess it, it is Black History Month too, so it should do some sort of Black History Month theme as well for store mermaid swimming. Anyhow, I should do that for for the challenge here at some point. So do you think mermaids have like, do you think they have like separate bones? Like what do the bones look like in this section of their bodies? All right. So how I'm going to do this, because as I've mentioned many times before, I'm not the best at drawing people. So what I'm doing is I'm going to kind of just position this, chop things up a bit. I guess would would our mermaid have some sort of shell shell bra? I guess technically, is that what they do? And then hair going up. Hair would float, right? Since water. And arm going back. And front here. I guess her arm could just be just be resting. Could be. Yeah, 
Yeah, mermaids are weird. But we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it! <laughs> Alright, so rough sketch, and now... Drop back. Hopefully I can do this one quick. I'm trying to think of the fastest way to do this. Um, since I'm better at better at lines, I'll do that. Could I describe everything I'm drawing to the tune of... The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. I mean, I could do it in my Jamaican voice for the rest of the show. If you prefer, if you prefer me to say that, talk this way. We can do it this way. All right. Thank you for the suggestion, lines. Should I use this brush or am I going to use something else? Let's see. I'm going to use the rough, rough pencil. Yes, come we can shade a little bit. Welcome to Under the Sea. <laughs> I used to love that that movie. Hopefully Disney doesn't sue me. Ah, delicious. Delicious tea. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You think about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Under the sea. So I'll make those shells. Or something. I don't know yet. I gotta figure out what our our lovely merhumans merhuman mer thing mer creature is wearing here. Under the sea. Darling, it's better. Take it from me. Okay, I'll stop singing. I'll stop. All right, let's get serious about this face. Let's get serious. Do mermaids have gills? Should she have, should she have like a gill here or something? <laughs> what do you guys think? Should our mermaid have a gill? Uh, let's see here. I don't know what she's doing with her hand. I gotta think of what she's doing with her hand there before I commit. Also, she looks kind of stacked. Like, maybe a little too stacked. The request shall be granted. I think it was, who was it that asked for the mermaid? I forget. Give me a shout out. <laughs> my seaweed was good. My singing was good, not seaweed. <clears throat> I, okay, so yes, I love karaoke. Karaoke is one of the things I I enjoyed before the world ended. Um, so I, I used to go like, I used to go... Why isn't this working? 
I used to go like every, I think it was like every Wednesday or Friday, but definitely every week I used to go. <sighs> Her face looks funny. Thank you. Um, I used to go, go every week singing karaoke and, uh, I miss it. I do miss it. All right, I'm just going to draw through here. And I can get the rest. Well, maybe people who live underwater for their whole lives look funny. Maybe. You never know. Is that Beb Bebrowskis? Bebrowskis. Why'd you draw her tail as if she had legs underneath? Um, I don't know. I just, I, it's, I don't know. Mermaids are weird. That's a great question. I'll think about maybe changing it. But that is a, that is a fantastic question. Fair and fantastic question. Do a care Carol karaoke episode. I don't know if I'd want to subject you guys to me doing karaoke for a whole hour i don't know if i'd want to do that so i'll just occasionally break out in the song and we'll call it good Your mermaids never have bras. <laughs> yeah, I got. I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it. Uh. Um. I gotta keep it okay for YouTube. They're very, very particular these days. Very particular. Anyhow, I appreciate the suggestion and the challenge. I uh. I will say. It's refreshing to do different things. So a long time ago, I had a website called ID Sketching. And, you know, people have said, oh, I miss ID Sketching. Um, and I get it. You know, it, it was very f much focused on sketching for industrial designers. And part of the reason I stopped, well, there are a few reasons, but part of the reason... I stopped was um, I wanted to feel like I could draw different things that weren't just products and have that be okay not that people would complain but from a branding perspective so that happened a long long time ago um, and so since then I've tried to do different things so I appreciate the suggestion sketch a day for me is Kind of an extension of 
of my passion and interest in drawing as a whole and visual communication. So yeah, um, I would I would argue the spirit of the site still exists. Um, you know, it did have some things that I guess were a little bit different. Like I had a forum at one point. That's where people could post stuff about sketching. Um, due to some life changes, I kind of shut that down. But part of the the reason I think the Discord works is it's a bit wild the hair is a bit wild i should uh tone it down i went a little crazy with with some of the the wild floaties here um so part of the reason i i have the discord was to continue or provide that sense of community so you could have everyone there um i did just send out as well, I don't know if you guys got it, but whoever signed up, I did send out my first newsletter after a long time. I uh, wanted to kind of build a list up, but sent that out. It has a discount code for the store, so um, if you missed that, too bad. But it's a bigger discount than I normally give. That is in the email. But that's also where I'm going to make announcements ahead of time. So if you want to be ahead of the curve, sign up for the newsletter, sketchaday.com slash newsletter I'm trying to think of how her fingers should be here her fingers maybe something like that do mermaids have <laughs> that's a weird fingernail do mermaids have manicures is the question, do they? Hey, Leo. All right. hands a little bit too small so let's blow it up oh, there we go like do they have do they have dangly earrings what do mermaids have do they have necklaces of some sort with fish bones. Maybe they're actually creepy. And we, you know, as humans, we think mermaids are cool, but they're actually like terrifying. Did you guys watch Aquaman at all? Aquaman? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> My kids are just being a little rowdy, that's all. We're good. I, don't, I mean, I don't mind if they play, but they were just kind of getting... getting a bit intense. Music brought to you by Paul Sohi. By the way, thanks, Paul. Shout out to you. Thanks for hooking it up. Nine inch nails. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like 
just like creepy freaking mermaid. All right, so we're gonna hide this like hide that layer now, and then why did I draw as if someone asked why did I draw as if they have legs? Um, because that's typically how it's done. But I mean, if if there wasn't a leg joint, what would what would this mermaid look like? Probably something like that, which. Eh, I think what I'll do, so I'll keep, I'll keep this, I'll keep uh, that articulation point, but I'll soften this one up a bit, I think. So you're right, it does feel a bit, uh, maybe too much like a leg. Now you can head off in peace. <laughs> All right, Arnav, take care. Take care. Yeah, they're just they're just being a little little crazy right now. The kiddos. All right, so I'll color this up. I'm running out of time though. I, my ambitions always outstrip, outpace my reality. So. Apologies, guys. I do have to keep it tight today. Um, so I'll use this real marker brush. Get, get our base tone in. I think I'm gonna give her green here, like bright green here. All right, the reason I'm being careful, actually, hmm. I think what I'll do, I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna use, let's see, let's go back to sketch day one. I'm gonna use this round brush. Okay, reason for that. Yeah. Is, so that marker brush, if you lift the stylus and then apply another stroke, it's gonna multiply the value, which is good in certain applications. But in this case, I wanna be able to just kind of work and then, you know, I'll figure out, figure out my, my lighting and stuff. So I'll use the marker brush on top of this and you'll see, see how that works as I go. All right, so now that I've got base tone, let's do scales. Um, could do maybe some iridescent purple type thing. Um, for the scales, I think, yeah, purple goes really nicely with this. And then I think the green here would complement nicely as well. Um, so I, I'm, I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna do the scales. Like you could, and then maybe I'll make this fade out into some sort of green on the tips. So I could use lines to hint at scales and then just focus on tone. I'm just thinking out loud here. Um, can I use real fish as a reference? Yeah. Could do that. Um, I could even pull in a fish texture. It's just when you pull in textures, you got to make sure your style matches. Right, so. All right, cool. I could pull in a pattern, I guess, too. That's also, also a possibility. Let's see if this will work. 
It just depends on... Um, I always forget. Different apps do things differently. So it's a matter of, you know, can you match the style effect and so forth as you go. And I think what I'm going to do is use this. Kind of like a, a little bit of a texture here. So let's go to hue saturation brightness. I'm going to turn down, oh, layer. Well, not layer, sorry. Hue saturation brightness, yeah, layer. And I'm going to crank the saturation down, brightness up, like so. Switch this to something that works. I like the color burn, so I'll leave that. And then erase bits I don't need. Now, it's not ideal. It's certainly not ideal. But it might be just enough to kind of hint at hint at some texture. Especially as I lower the opacity. And then I'll kind of paint over this to kind of help, help out a bit. All right, cool. Um, let's see, and now I'll clean up a bit. Clean up a bit there. All right. Daphne vibes, should we put, um, should we put glasses on her? But yeah, I think I think this will be <laughs> these two sketches will be the only thing I really get through today. So apologies just on timing, but I do have to to bounce in a bit. Has work work calls. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You think about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Under the sea, darling, is better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. There you see her. You look at her, you know you do. That song, that song is a little bit creepy, but. Boy, you better do it soon. No time will be better. Now, this is going to give Joker vibes, but I don't care. <laughs> I want to do green hair. Green hair and green tail. Yeah, I don't really care. So, I'll just preemptively say it. So, people aren't like, looks like the Joker. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. While you eat your tendies. All right, so this is kind of this is kind of a quick, quick color paint technique. So just base base color down, and then um, Daphne X Joker, <laughs> Daphne from Scooby Doo. I would have to put like glasses on her, wouldn't I? Like put some round glasses on. Or is that Velma? I always forget. Forget the names. Well, it's a mermaid of color, regardless. There you see her, look at her, you know you do. Boy, you better do it soon, no time will be better.
You don't take no, <laughs> no words, not a single word. Go on and kiss the girl. Tra la 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 my oh my. Maybe I'll watch that again. Velma is the one with the glasses. Okay. Scooby-Doo Scooby -Doo is like a repressed memory for me. Do you know why? Scooby-Doo was the scariest cartoon I ever watched when I was a kid. And it was rough. <laughs> now, I know you guys are probably like, what? Scooby-Doo is awesome. But there's this episode with the electric man. The electric guy. I've mentioned this on the stream before, but there's this one episode in particular. And as a kid, like it freaking terrorize me so much so I got beef with Scooby-Doo definite beef Scooby-Doo is terrifying terrifying is that the right word or terrorizing terrifying terrorizing whatever All right, let's bring this let's bring this tail home. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Let's bring it home. Thanks, Latrice. Latrice is one of so Latrice is a fan that has been following for a long time. Super awesome consistent always sharing the love so i appreciate that thank you good sir So the request was for a mermaid. My ambitions outpaced reality today. So this will be, be the final sketch. The final sketch now. It was traumatizing. Scooby-Doo was traumatizing. Look it up. Look up Scooby-Doo Electric Man. In fact, I saw an article saying that it was one of the scariest characters in Scooby-Doo. I looked it up. If you look up a list of the top scariest, in fact, I'll just do it now because I know you guys probably don't believe me. You probably don't believe me. Uh, where is it? Come on, don't be weird. Whoa. What is happening? <laughs> My stuff got moved. Boom. Oh, that's why. Um, where are you? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I had a little mishap on my, my desktop here. Okay, I'm going to lock that. Lock. All right. Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo top scariest characters. Yeah, top 10 scariest monsters. All right, number, let's see. Wait a minute, why is he not? Maybe this is the wrong article. Huh, interesting. All right, I'm not going to waste time looking at it, but if I do find it, I will I will send it to you. Maybe it's on Screen Rant or the Geekler. Okay, let's check and see. Uh, okay. Yep, there he is. Is that him? Oh, yeah, here it is. 
What? A shocking ghost. All right. <clears throat> Is that him? Yes. All right. So here's the link. You can look it up. The electric dude. Um, I'll just do a screen share and show you. Give me just a sec here. This is important. This was part of my childhood, man. This is like traumatizing for me. So here is what the shocking ghost. All right. This, this, this guy right here, this creature kept me up at night <laughs> when I was a kid and I couldn't sleep forever. It was, it was terrifying that. And I would say the movie fire in the sky were two of the scariest, um, things I saw as a kid. Listed at number 10. Okay. Okay. You thought he was furry? No, Lions, you're scary, not furry. You misspelled scary and trauma-inducing. You misspelled it. I fixed it for you, though. All right, if you want to go through the trouble on the hair and add individual strandy wisps, you can do that with just a small brush. We're back to our drawing now. Thank you for indulging my Scooby-Doo interlude. Um, <laughs> sankyo, sankyo. But yeah, freaking traumatizing. I don't usually use blending modes, but I am using one right now. And then create a new layer. I'll go even brighter. Some white. Here and there, and then tone up her skins. Actually, I'm gonna take a little, little break, grab some water, and I'll be right back. Okay. Woo! All right, I'm back. X Files scared you. <laughs> X Files was terrifying. Um, remember the stretchy guy in X Files? That that scared me. Hey, Wayne, welcome. I'm not running late. Unfortunately, as I explained earlier, I got, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to get work, but I got a, I do have to work on some stuff. So I'm going to have to wrap here in a little bit. So 
But thanks for joining, Wayne. Thanks for being part of the YouTube channel membership. Um, <clears throat> do me a favor. If you are on the Discord, Wayne, hit me up. Let me know what your name is. We'll welcome you into the channel member chat slash... I guess, I don't know. I don't have a good name for it, but we do have a little chat room. Um, so, and I, I kind of monitor that one a bit more. <clears throat> so if you want to join that, hit me up. And I also owe you a sticker, so I'll need your, need your deets. I'll need them deeds. So I got a request to do a mermaid. That's what we're doing. Just wrapping it up here. And then it's worky work time for me. Actually, I'll probably have an early lunch and then I'll go to work. But it's going to be a busy day. Busy's good, though. I guess since she's underwater, I could do some sort of bluish, bluish highlight instead. It's always a little tricky though. Always a little tricky. So I'm using Procreate, by the way, since you are joining late, Wayne. Using Procreate today. iPad Pro. Maybe she should have green eyes, too. Little gl little glint of green. Kids are funny. My uh, my sons are like best friends, but also enemies at the same time. <laughs> so like sometimes they'll be playing, and you hear those delightful, delightful kid sounds, and at other times it's like World War Three. I'm just like, can you guys be chill, please? Like just, just chill. Oh yeah, I didn't even finish I didn't even finish the legs here. Okay. Focus. Focus.
iPad Pro or stick to PC? Do you um do you use a Wacom tablet? What do you use on your your PC, Wayne? Currently. I guess I could use yeah, I could use this brush too. So I'm gonna jump to my Mega Pack and let's go to let's see, let's use the crisp crisp highlighter. Just to get a nice nice shiny mermaid mermaid nest here. On the perimeter. Still can't take the drawing without touching direct to screen. Um, so, oh goodness, Antibus, that that X Files story sounds crazy. I don't remember that, but um, what was I gonna say? With with drawing on the the iPad here, so it, it has decent palm rejection. I don't know if that's what you're referring to. But it has decent palm rejection, so if you're worried about if you're worried about the iPad um, picking up your palm, it's not really an issue on the iPad. At least I haven't had it be a major issue, so your mileage may vary, I guess. But yeah, I haven't had it haven't had it be a problem. Alright, I did say I'd make this kind of a shell. I need to look at shells. Alright, let's see. I know it's not a shell shape, but um shell bra. I'm not gonna share my screen with you right now. <laughs> ah. Alright, I think this will work. I'll just have to Kind of tweak a little bit here, just so it feels shell-like. And then let's take some of this purple. I'm gonna have to, yeah, okay, I'll change that after. So let's go back to this layer, change that after. So not exactly accurate, but just quick and dirty. Quick and dirty. Yeah, drawing on a screen is a little bit um, different, for sure. But if you're worried about your palm impacting the screen, I wouldn't worry so much just because the palm rejection is, is pretty good. And it's only getting better too. For me, it's uh, it's a lot of things, but the convenience of you know I can charge my iPad and work on it for a few hours without without it dying, and I can work where I want to work, which is also a plus. Um, Yeah, so all those things are are nice to have. All right, so that's my sketch layer. So I'm gonna have to modify this a bit. So I'll just reduce these lines because I do want to change the 
overall perimeter here of our bra. All right, back to my round brush. How big are you? Too big. Now I'll just scallop, scallop the top here now. So it feels more like, more like one of these shells that you would see. If we want to keep working this, we can as well. Things like a little bit of a, a little bit of a highlight. And as I always, eh, as I always mention, these things can take time. So if you see something online and you get discouraged because you're like, oh, there's no way I can do that. Um, a lot of times it's a factor of time. You know, all these little details and things you have to throw in. It's like how quickly, how quickly can you move? But also just recognizing like, yeah, it does, it does take time. Huan? Is that how you say it? Huan? Huan tablet? Um, just wondering if you could do a drawing of the next base. That's very specific. And I don't, I have a policy against doing stuff that's for homework. So, what I would recommend is look up some of my videos that cover drawing a camera. And you could see that or get the help that way. If you have specific trouble after then after your assignment i'll be happy to but i'm not going to do your homework for you you could also join the discord and then post your progress and i'm sure people would be willing to kind of answer your questions and help you out a bit as well If you want a commission, you can always email me. I'd be happy to, to talk about that, but yeah, not going to happen. All right, a little bit of shadow there. Yeah, it's, it's not an official policy. I appreciate you um, asking, but it's just more like it defeats the purpose of you doing the assignment if I do it for you. So I think your instructor is likely hoping that you will have that experience and learn from it. Happy to help you after though. Like after you turn it in, you get some feedback. Um, if you're like, hey, here's what my professor said. Um, I'd be happy to kind of help out and give you my take on it. I mean, I've had people trick me into doing stuff specifically. That's another reason I don't like to do specific things because oftentimes it is, 
you know, homework or it might be like a work project or something. And I just, I don't want to do that. I mean, I'll do it if I'm getting paid, <laughs> but I'm not going to do, um, do somebody's work for them, you know. No siree. All right, this turned into way more than I wanted it to. I haven't done the background either, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave it be. Um, let's see if I can... Oh, there it is. Nice. Wasn't too hard to find. Um, I'll just throw in a quick, quick background here. I'd want to work on the skin tone a little bit too. Let's see if I can do a few saturation brightness on the layer. look at my screen here sometimes the colors are a bit off All right, just a touch there okay cool um so now let's just do a quick quick under the sea background the all of you the seaweed is always green up all right, so just using this real marker, I'm just gonna go real big and kind of just do some sort of some sort of background here. Paint and erase. So paint something in, erase what you don't need. Create a little texture. The reason the scales are showing up down there is that um, I just need to clean up this layer here. So right where I have these scales. Just clean this up because that, that one was on like a blending mode texture that I pulled in. Now let's let's soften this up, erase a little bit here as well. All right. And one last thing I didn't shade in the necklace, so I'll just go ahead and do that and we'll call it good. I'm going to use my Spencil for that because it's such a tiny area. Just like so. Thank you for joining and hanging out with me on this Fan Friday. It was super fun. Appreciate you giving suggestions. I know I didn't get to everything. Um, I got to figure out a better way. I don't know what the answer is, but I don't want you feeling too left out if your idea did not get drawn or looked at. Fear not. I will be back for... Sci-Fi Sunday, a.k.a. SFS. Just kidding. Um, but I'll be back for Sci-Fi Sunday. So let's see. I'm going to drag this here. Go to Multiply. And just kind of move this. Move this down a little bit for some shadow. Let's also adjust, oops, um, curves. Make this a little darker. Then I'll just erase these. All right, so yeah, I'll be back um, Sunday for Sci-Fi Sunday. So if you missed out today, it's all right. It's all good. 
On Sunday, we'll be doing all things weird and sci-fi like we do. It'll be around the same time, 9 a.m. Pacific. Check it out. Come hang out. With some more time, I could, you know, make this make this even better, but I'm just going to call it good. Oh, that's weird. I'm going to call it good for now. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. It was super fun. Um, like I always say, if you learned something today, definitely take a minute to share with, with others as well. Um, much love to you. Thanks and shout out to the channel members and patrons who are here and who continue to make this dream a reality. Uh, wouldn't be able to do it without you, at least not as easily for sure. Pardon me. So... Thank you for your support. If there's anything I can do to help make this experience better for you, channel members and patrons, definitely let me know. Hit me up. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and from the rest of you as well. Feel free to leave a comment or hit me up on Discord, Instagram, wherever you might be. Um, if you haven't checked out the YouTube show, definitely do that at some point. Check it out. It's a different experience. So, um, And that's where I pay attention to the chat and whatnot. Uh, what time do I roughly go live, asks Wayne. So I'll be live around 9 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday. All right, so 9 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday. That's when I'll be I'll be live. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, yes, passion is the process. <laughs> love what you do. I love you guys. Thank you, and I hope you have a fantastic Friday. Take care. I've got to get to work, so peace out.